time to get fit. It's time to eat right. It's time to change your life with Petey's Principles. This is Northridge Church in Plymouth, Michigan, where 18,000 people on any given week come to find and exercise their faith. And that's what this week's show is all about. Welcome to Peter's Principles, a show dedicated to changing your life through proper nutrition and exercise. As you can see, the auditorium is empty, getting ready for next weekend services. Today's show is very near and dear to my heart because it has everything to do with the power of faith. Now you're probably saying to yourself, what does faith have to do with health and fitness? In my opinion, it has everything to do with it and studies prove it. Your purpose is driven by faith. And during this next half hour, medical and religious experts We'll talk about real life experiences between the connection of health and faith. I want you to take your entire family, sit down, open up your mind and heart, and feel the power of faith. It felt like your world caved in around you. It was an incredible amount of pain. I immediately, when everything was going on, just cried out to him. It was very painful and tragic. Ed and Christine are talking about the day their beautiful sweet daughter, Hannah, died. Hannah was just four years old when she was killed in an ATV accident. I more asked, like, what was the purpose of this? Because it doesn't make sense. But instead of blaming God and turning away from church, Hannah's death brought them closer to their faith. I realized her life had purpose and so did her death. And it's really all through the grace of God. God will answer. You never know how he's going to answer, um, but he will answer. There have been so many questions about faith, healing, and health that researchers studied whether there is a connection. There's definitely a connection. And there are Dr. Wilkerson Uddyback is a doctor at one of the busiest emergency rooms in the country. Detroit Receiving Hospital. ARC. She says she has seen firsthand the connection between faith and health. Overall, people who have a belief in a higher power tend to do well overall when it comes to recovery times and just dealing with chronic illnesses. There are a lot of studies proving a connection between faith and health. Detroit Receiving Hospital put out its own publication on the subject. Also, a nine-year study of more than 21,000 adults found people who went to religious services at least once a week lived an average of seven years longer than those who didn't. Another study found regular attendance at religious service is linked to lower blood pressure, less chronic decline in older adults, and fewer symptoms of depression. Brad, do you think that attending religious services or the Bible can promote a healthy lifestyle? You know, without a doubt. In fact, Brad Powell is the senior pastor at Northridge Church in Plymouth, Michigan. While I can't prove heaven, I can give you proofs of heaven. Thousands of people gather each week to hear the message of faith and hope. He believes strengthening your relationship with God will keep you healthy all around. When we establish a relationship with God that is healthy, that leads to a healthy understanding of ourselves. So now I have a healthy understanding of the importance of my mind, of the importance of my emotional life, the importance of my spiritual life, and that leads then to the importance of my body. Brad also advises people to choose faith in God, not a religion based on rules. God doesn't want you keeping rules. God wants you in a relationship. And in that relationship then, it's about living for his pleasure. And when you're experiencing the pleasure of God in your life, you're experiencing the full pleasure of life, the full potential of life, and the full purpose of life. If you asked Dr. Ben Gilmore about a connection between faith and health a couple of years ago, 
he would have said definitely no. I was a card-carrying atheist. When I would sneeze, somebody would say, God bless you, I'd say, that's okay, don't, don't do that. Don't, I, don't, I don't want that. I was that against, I was sort of against God. It was really strange when I look back on it. It's kind of embarrassing to say it right now, but it's, I was. He was convinced his life without God was full and complete. I thought I uh, had been successful in a, in a career. I thought I was successful in relationships, and I thought I'm okay. What I didn't understand at the time was I was looking at life in black and white. And when I, when I came to faith, it was in color. With love and encouragement from his wife, Dr. Gilmore came to Northridge Church. It was a choice that changed his life. I now feel that, that uh, serving is, 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 all, is for me. I need to serve, I must serve, he served me, I need to serve everybody I come in contact with. It's changed everything. Not only does Ben now have a strong faith in God, he left his practice and serves and shares his faith with countries less fortunate. From that moment forward, I'm gonna spend the rest of my life serving as a missionary somewhere else, outside of America, somewhere else. Personal stories and studies have proven a connection between faith and a healthy, abundant life. But if you're still unsure and have questions, Brad says all you have to do is open up your heart and look and faith will find you. So just know it's vital, it's not what they think, it's everything they're looking for and all they have to do is seek and they will find. I run just about uh, every day of the year. But it's what this man does while he runs which is very inspirational. You'll hear his story. Plus, I'll share exercises which can bring you closer to your faith. It's all coming up when we come back. I know how important it is to take care of our digestive health. That's why I use Daily Body Restore Digestive Care System. The 30-day kit comes with a 30-day supply of Daily Body Restore probiotic digestive enzymes, a 14-day supply of DBR dietary supplements for heartburn relief, and a digestive health DVD hosted by Peter Nielsen. Act now and receive two free bonus items, an eating out guide and an exercise anywhere guide. Call 1-800-380-9852. Did you know you can't get rock hard abs just by doing sit ups alone? There are three areas you need to work your upper abs, your lower abs, and your obliques. Welcome back to Peter's Principles. We've heard from people personally about their connections between faith and health. And I think being out in the nature and exercising is a great way to get closer to God. I'm walking my dog, Goliath, I'm enjoying nature. But many people use exercise to get closer to their faith. My name is Greg Hausner. I'm an orthopedic surgeon. I've been practicing for 14 years. I got into running basically to uh, uh, occupy myself. It's, it's the way I wake up. And uh, I love running outside because it brings me closer to nature. And uh, in a setting like this, uh, I love seeing nature and God's creation. About three years ago, I was uh, involved in a small group at our church where part of the exercise was to memorize um, a scripture. And uh, now when I run, I uh, recite memory verses in, in my mind. And uh, not only does it help me take my mind off running, which is a, which is a bonus, uh, it gets my mind exercising. And uh, the incorporation of the physical part of running with the spiritual part of memorizing uh, scripture, uh, it really brings the emotional health to my uh, day. So when I finish running now, I've not only exercised my body, but I've exercised my mind, exercised my spirit, and emotionally I'm ready for the day. There are many ways you could get closer to your faith. You could run like Greg was doing, or walk like I'm doing. You could even try different exercises, like yoga or Pilates. Are you ready, Goliath? Come. I think he's ready. Let's go, buddy. And pulse, pulse, 
and inhale, return center, and twist one. You have two, probably heard about and maybe even turn, seen Pilates center, and wondered how good of an exercise can this be? Roll yourself up one vertebrae at a time. Pilates is a form of exercise based on five basic principles which help you to establish good core strength. Pilates dramatically transforms the way your body looks, feels, and performs. It teaches body awareness, good posture with easy, graceful movement. It improves flexibility, agility, core body strength. Use those strong abs of yours to roll yourself back. It can even help get rid of back pain. Pilates can also be great for the mind. You definitely have to concentrate. You really have to stay focused. If you can't afford a personal training session when it comes to Pilates, don't sweat it. I'm at Dunham Sports in Sterling Heights, Michigan, and joining me is Denise, who is a physical therapist, and she works with the Detroit Medical Center, and now you can do Pilates in the comforts of your own home with a Pilates Power Gym. I think it's awesome, and welcome. Oh, thank you. What exactly are you doing? I'm doing Pilates footwork right now, which is helping me to establish my breathing, my core strength, and movement of my legs and strengthening of the legs. And then when you want to work your upper body, all she has to do is take one of these cables for resistance and either it adds or it takes away. Now what are you doing? I'm doing the hundreds, which is a very targeted core strength exercise and stabilization of the scapula, which is important for good posture. Baby boomers, listen up. This is a great form of exercise for you. Reason being, flexibility, core body strength. It's less jarring on your joints but it doesn't stop there. If you like to be out for a walk and you want to meditate and you want to say prayers of what other faith you are in, you could be practicing Pilates without giving it a lot of thought while you're meditating. We were created with a longing to know God. He's the one that created our body, our soul, our mind, our spirit, and it's meant to be in that order. So when we're connected with him spiritually, in the right kind of way, motivated that way, it immediately starts impacting how we think. How we think then impacts how we take care of our body, how we deal with other people, and that impacts our emotional life. So there's no doubt that it changes our lives. What you put in your body is critical. When we come back, I'll take you shopping for foods that will help keep your temple healthy. I know how important it is to take care of our digestive health. That's why I use Daily Body Restore Digestive Care System. The 30-day kit comes with a 30-day supply of Daily Body Restore Probiotic Digestive Enzymes, a 14-day supply of DBR Dietary Supplements for Heartburn Relief, and a Digestive Health DVD hosted by Peter Nielsen. Act now and receive two free bonus items, an eating out guide and an exercise anywhere guide. Call 1-800-380-9852. Welcome back to Peter's Principles. I always say that your body is your temple, and it's so important to fuel your body with the right foods. I'm at Joe's Produce Gourmet Market in Livonia, Michigan, and I want to help you pick the right foods that are best. Many people think that eating organic is the way to go. But for example, going back to biblical times, bread should only have four ingredients, water, yeast, salt, and flour. The question is, is organic better? And what exactly does it mean? The word organic actually refers to the way farmers grow and process food. Now the big question, is organic better? There's no conclusive evidence that organic food is more nutritious than conventional grown food, but it is safer because choosing organic limits exposure to pesticides residue since conventional farmers use pesticides, the residue can be left on some produce. How do you know it's organic? Be sure to check the labels carefully. If the label says 100% organic, the products are completely organic or made of all organic ingredients. If eating organic is not for you, there are many other ways of eating healthy and one of them spells the Mediterranean diet. 
and that means eating tons of fruits and vegetables and healthy oils. But how does it benefit your body, which is your temple? The Mediterranean eating style significantly reduces the risk of further heart disease in individuals who have already had a heart attack. The common Mediterranean diet is full of fruits, vegetables, whole wheat breads and cereals, potatoes, beans, nuts and seeds. Dairy products, fish, eggs, poultry and wine are consumed in low to moderate amounts. The red meat is a no-no. Be sure to look for foods that come in their own packaging. If it's processed and full of chemicals, it's not the way nature intended. I'm sure you could hear the children. I'm at Northridge Discovery Island and there's kids all over here and they have tons of energy. There's energy all around us. Even this light has energy. Our bodies create energy. Now at the Detroit Medical Center, they're saying that they could cure and heal disease with our own body's energy. So it's a critical component of the, uh, the movement towards uh, living beyond 100. It is mitochondrial medicine. Mitochondria are, you can think of them as little oil refineries that exist uh, in, in their thousands in every one of our cells, every cell in our body has these mitochondria, these little oil refineries that take the molecules from the food we eat and the oxygen we breathe and they convert that uh, into energy, into a, a fuel. Because the mitochondria produce the energy in our cells, if they are sick, our cells lose energy, then our cells are less able to fight the more common diseases like diabetes and cancer. This new medical procedure would treat mitochondrial defects which could cause disease. Doctors are not treating patients with this new medicine yet, but a dedicated team of researchers at DMC and Wayne State are working on the discovery and hope to open a mitochondrial center to treat patients battling diabetes, stroke, even ALS, once the research is complete. You will receive treatment based specifically on your personal, your individual makeup, your genomic makeup, your mitochondrial genomic makeup, and so on. So that's where this is, is going. And I think it's just wonderful. The Detroit Medical Center's Living Beyond 100. I know how important it is to take care of our digestive health. That's why I use Daily Body Restore Digestive Care System. The 30-day kit comes with a 30-day supply of Daily Body Restore probiotic digestive enzymes, a 14-day supply of DBR dietary supplements for heartburn relief, and a digestive health DVD hosted by Peter Nielsen. Act now and receive two free bonus items, an eating out guide and an exercise anywhere guide. Call 1-800-380-9852.